what is up guys welcome back to Ermo time once again what's up guys i'm back with another reaction video today i'll be reacting to the crazy trade that went on a couple days ago it was involving isaiah thomas jay crowder and the nets first round pick going to the uh the Cavs and kyrie irving being traded to the celtics oh my god no one saw this coming first of all first of all i personally thought that kyrie irving was going to go to the spurs not the celtics but Danny Ainge is a witch and a magician after all, so, you know, he gets things done. Um, personally, I would say the Celtics won this trade. Because although the Cavs got more in return, Kyrie Irving is better than Isaiah Thomas. And I feel like he's going to work better off with Gordon Hayward and with the Celtics organization better than he worked with LeBron James to compete for um, a title and possibly for the interconference title. I feel like they can actually compete this time and be first, the first seed again, just like they were last year. So overall, I say the Celtics won this pick. But what do you guys think? Comment down below to tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think the Cavs won it or Celtics won it? If you guys disagree with me, comment down below. below. But I think the Celtics won it overall. And I feel like the Celtics are going to do better I also think the Cavs are going to do better too. I mean, Jay Crowder is a great defensive player. I'm pretty sure he can defend really well. Isaiah Thomas is no scrub, and he's good, but he's not Kyrie Irving. And the Nets first round pick, whoever that has to be, whoever that's going to be, um, Cavs will get. But I feel like this time LeBron might stay for another season after this coming season, just to see if IT can produce and everything. But we'll just have to see. I personally think the Cavs are still going to be able to go to the finals without Kyrie Irving, but I feel like they're going to be matched up with Kyrie Irving and the Celtics now. And with the addition of Gordon Hayward, I feel like uh, the, the Celtics could really be a big threat, a bigger threat than last year. But yeah, guys, that's what I wanted to say. That's my take on this trade. Big, blo big uh, uh, blockbuster trade. By the way, I forgot to tell you, this is the first time in NBA history where two guards averaging more than 25 points per game were traded to each other first time in history so in my opinion i would say this is arguably the biggest trade in nba history but i don't know we're all inside to our own opinion but uh, that's the that's my take on it guys i hope you guys enjoyed it um stay tuned for more videos by me i'll be uploading basketball mixtape number three and much more uh, i should be uploading more vlogs and more reaction videos uh, as the school year progresses and everything but i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like comment down below make sure to follow me on snapchat and instagram I'll leave my username down in the description box down below. And uh, until the next video, peace.